Morning guys, my name's Sai. Um, I thought I'd do this because obviously with the Twitter character limit you struggle to get your all your thoughts out there and obviously with what's going on at the club at the minute there's so much going on that I thought I'd get it all out there and want it and get it off my chest and I can go about my day. Um, and yeah, it's my first crack at this so guys feel free to fire something back at me, do your own video, come chat to me, whatever, let's talk Arsenal. Um, like I say, I got up this morning, so happy, do my usual routine, bit of breakfast, have a cappuccino, social media. How is there still negative Arsenal fans at the minute? So confusing to me because there's no reason to be. The only excuse I give an Arsenal fan for being miserable at the moment is the fact that we've felt so sort of depressed and downtrodden for the best part of a decade you forgot what happy feels like but I'm telling you it's here and it's now and don't miss out on it because only good things are about to happen for us guys and if you're not feeling it right now you need to go docs and check that you're alive because I'm so pumped about what's going on um, and I'm going to explain to you why now yesterday's events let's get them out of the way um, Jack leaving upsetting I love him, the guy bleeds Arsenal, same as me, same as most of us. Heartbreaking, it's not his fault, his career's gone the way it's gone. Horrible injuries, completely ruined the player that he was and what a player he was as well. Let's not forget that Barca performance, it was unreal for a guy of his age. Um, and I'll only smile whenever I think about him and no matter what shirt he goes and puts on. I mean, I hope he puts an England one on soon and it's a crying shame that he's not there right now, but whatever club shirt he puts on, we all know what the one is in his skin and under it so nothing but love for him and can't wait to see him thrive wherever he goes and that in my personal opinion the divorce is a good thing and um, I think we've been both been holding each other back for a while so that's done and dusted for me it was a lot like the Santi situation these guys were brilliant they're not anymore and we can't hope that they get back to that either we can't keep paying people 100 grand a week to live in the past we can't I know people think I'm cold for that point of view but that's my opinion it's not sentiment FC to me um, and I, I love these guys I have fond memories of these guys but it doesn't mean they stay forever no one stays forever no one outlives the club the club is always going to be here um, so we all need to remember that for me because he's in that situation at the minute where do we cut that puppy free I, I, you know we've got to work out how many games he's going to play and the other signings we're making which obviously at centre back are happening at the minute um, so yeah, for me, I'm, I'm glad these things are happening um, and it frees up obviously, them going, the likes of, you know, maybe one of Mustafi and James is going, but I'll get onto that in a minute, um, Mertz, off the wage bill, Campbell, Perez, they all look like they're going, oh, Jen Cole, can't believe he's still an Arsenal player, that's unreal, um, so there's definitely money to be freed up there and in a few other areas, which like I say, I'll chat to you about in a minute, so just looking at the team at the minute, Goalkeeper, yesterday's events obviously, in my opinion, uh, it, this is a huge deal getting Leno in. Um, the guy, the only negative thing I've seen that people are already picking at is this nine mistakes leading to goals. That's been over seasons, not a season. And in that time, he's made, I think, 200 plus appearances. So I, I, I think it's a minor. We've got a ridiculous goalkeeping coach now who's one of the top guys in the world who will definitely iron that shit out of him. Um, and that's the only reason for me you can pick an all out of the guy all the other stats in the Bundesliga he's, he's only behind Neuer in and I mean come on Neuer could be a can traffic cone for 50% of the games in that league for them doing what he does in the team he's been in he's a different beast um, so the money we've paid ridiculously small amount absolute pence I've spent more than that on a Friday night in the local office so that fee wise awesome his age not even in his prime we can give him a year or two to hit that and still get five years out of him um, yeah all these other aspects of his game are, are absolutely mint so I'm absolutely jazzed to see a new face between them sticks next year for me I think we should get rid of Czech and Ospina both not up to it um, I'd rather keep Ospina out the two if we were going to keep one but I'd rather see Martinez step up as number two um, and get rid of those two, bring maybe 10, 15 mil in the door and 100k plus off the wage bill a week, um, which can be spent way better elsewhere. Um, 
I mean, taking a chance on Martinez, is he going to be that much worse for the limited games he'd play as a number two than having those two? No, not in my opinion. So I think that would be a shrewd move. Um, so the rest of the team, right back. Uh, Litchie, I'm sure didn't send met, set many people's pulses racing when it happened, but what a great signing that is. Um, I think for a lot of us we were we weren't that excited when it happened because it caught us on the hop completely. Most of us have been so fixated that for a decade we've needed a goalkeeper, a, a centre back, a centre defensive midfielder. We forgot about the fact we haven't got a decent right right back backup. So bringing this guy in for for nothing is an unreal deal in my opinion. His only positives, his only negative is his age and. For what we need in our project at the minute, we're going to get that two seasons out of him, or just maybe one season. So, on a free, I, I only have good things. He's not going to stifle Hector, and he is going to put him under enough pressure that he'll have to play for his spot. So, for me, that's an absolute no-brainer. Um, left back, I'd like to see Tai take the take the number one spot. Um, Nacho, love him. He's done his bit, but he's been the he's been the present, he's been the past, but he ain't the future. Time to move on from there and start giving say the game team game time he deserves because we're going to need him over the next five years um, and hopefully be part of this team we're going to build centre back he's really interested in at the minute I mean obviously Mertz is gone because he's knackered can't see him playing much at all looking at the fact that we're definitely looking to bring in another centre back after Socrates he's a signing I wasn't sold on to start off with but the money we've paid the age he's at what he does actually bring to the table I think it's a good deal um, and it won't kill us even if it doesn't turn out to be a great deal but I think coached by the new man in charge I, I can see that being a good deal um, looks like maybe one of Mustafi or Chambers is going um, I don't I, I'm so indifferent on this one I, I, I don't know whether I'd be happy to see both go happy to see both stay happy to see one go and one stay I just don't know I'll just side with Unai and the lads whatever they decide I'm, I'm happy to go along with um, Soyunku obviously is a big talking point that maybe he's coming in I know we, we've agreed a, a number with the club but not personal terms with him so I don't know if we're waiting on something on our end on that whether we're going to look to get someone out or make some moves before we bring one in don't know um, but centre back was starting to look way more solid and back line a lot more solid a lot more nasty that bit of bite in there and not so soft Um centre mid Torreira in my opinion has been a done deal for the best part of a week love this guy love the way he plays definitely in the mould of Verratti and Yucante he's a small guy but I love that sort of you know like little Jack Russell when the postman pops his hand through the door you know it's all over that letter just love that in him can't wait to see him in a shirt um, Xhaka that frees him up from his main defensive duties so he's going to be a different animal this year definitely and he's been a sleeper for me uh, and a few people are going to have to eat humble pie I think next year or I am it's going to be one way or the other um, that other spot in that mid for first team is definitely between Meza and uh, Rambo um, for me they don't work in the same team as much as it kills me to say it um, I think it's got to be one or the other and neither works out wide of a front three either so I think we need to rotate them too cleverly to be honest Um and I don't think it makes much difference switching one in, switching one out. Although Una might fancy him both in the same team, and he's the manager, not me. So I'd side with his opinion on that. To be fair, um, down the middle as well. We've obviously got El Nene there backing up. Um, Mickey could possibly play down the middle, but I think he might have to play the duties out wide. Um, Maitland Niles. People know my opinion on him. I told people he was the best kid we had in the academy when. Nelson went doing a trick and all the fanboys went wild telling me he's the best thing since last bed not saying he isn't brilliant but Maitland was the man ready to step up and so jazz to see him sign that contract and see what he can get up to in the middle of the park because his performance against Man United was awesome so can only see big things there um, Iwobe this is a guy who I have bad mouth so badly in the past hammered him and now feel bad about it because people were pointing out to me that he's got to play down the middle when I've seen him play down the middle, he's a different creature, so I'm, I'm happy to see him get a crack down the middle as a sort of attacking midfield, to be honest. Um, I'd have much rather see him there than as a square peg in a round all out wide where I'm just hammering him every week, does nobody any favours. Uh, and I don't think I've been on my own with that one either. Um, El Nenny, he can do a job in the middle. 
I'm not his biggest fan, but I did see a few performances last year that got me a little bit excited, I must admit, um, given a bit, little bit of freedom. So I think we're quite solid down the middle. I would take one more, but I don't think it's a necessity at the minute. Um, out wide wings is a bit of an issue for me, and I think our, our weakest area at the moment. Um, whether he plays a two up top of Ober and Lacquer or he goes for a three, I'd always have Lacquer as my main striker um, and either Ober and Mickey out wide. But then behind that, what have we got? Welbs, Iwobi, like I say, Iwobi I want to see through the middle. Welbs I want to see gone. Uh, people know my opinion of him, they know me, I'm not a fan. He seems like a lovely guy and nice to have around the club, but that's not good enough for me. And people's only defence when I say what are his reasons to keep him is that he runs a lot. Well, pay me that money and watch how much I run a lot. And I hate running, trust me. Gym membership's never been anywhere near my hand or wallet. So that's that's one for me that's good I think he's got to go get 15 or 20 mil in the door get his wages off and let's bring in a real first team ch shout out there um, <coughs> excuse me also young kids Nelson, Nakwali, Jeff are any of them ready to go now this season I'd love to see these guys getting a chance rather than watching Iwobi and Welbeck play out wide as I'm sure a lot of Gooners would you know they might not be brilliant but they could be and we need to find that out rather than playing guys we definitely know and we're going to be brilliant wingers so that's a no brainer for me up top Eddie Lacker over. Woo! That's ridiculous, those three. So, let's not even bother talking about that. Um, there's still some Deadwood to go out the door. Your Campbells, your Perez is, obviously Mertz is off the wage bill, Santi, Jack. There's money in this club, trust me. People, when they say, oh, there's no money, this 50 million budget, well, look how far it's gone so far. We've only probably spent 60 million. And look at the players we've already brought in. So, that was never an issue for me. And the whole we've got no money is a load of bollocks. The guy who owns the club is in the top 100 richest men in the world and he's pumping four billion into one of his other franchises. So don't come that with shit with me because it doesn't wash. Um, but the backroom stuff, since he's since his lad Josh has come in, fair play. Um, even doing an in, in, he's puppet master and genius at the minute, loving the loving the stuff he's doing. Um, I mean Emery, in my opinion, is as good as it could get for us in terms of a coach we, we weren't looking for a manager so you forget your peps and all the rest of it just purely a coach I mean how can there be a better candidate than this guy he brought a 170 page dossier to his job interview who does that have you have you ever took one of those to your job interview I haven't you're lucky if I can't seven GCSEs with me so that one for me is unreal um, and these backroom staff that he brings with him I can't I can't wait for it I mean Butlins FC is definitely over, Banter FC is definitely over in my opinion. These guys are going to go from turning up to training thinking it's like the ball pit at Ikea to, yes, drill sergeant. They, it, I think they're in for a whole world of hurt under this guy um, and I'm loving that. Um, like I say, the other staff changes, I can only see great things coming from. I'm so glad to get rid of some of these... I, I, lo I love having some ex-players around but we can't just be all ex-players look at all the other clubs in the world do they do that? no they don't We've, like I say people have got to get out of this sentiment FC thing yes we had a brilliant team in the Invincibles they can't all come back and have a job here <laughs> it's that simple for me um, but the other stuff spending the lads I mean like I say people whinged about that 50 million budget that, was, that came out rumoured I think that was a load of shit anyway but even if that was true, look how close we are to it and already done pretty much most of our, if not all of our business. Um, I still think we'll do some more because there's money to come in from people going out um, and I still think there's money there if we wanted it anyway. But what is the point in bringing in Sven if we weren't going to find these rough diamonds? What's the point in being here? Money. I never mentioned money in terms of good signings in anything you'll see me say because money doesn't equate to a brilliant player you can spend fortunes and get a shit player still um, and like the Torreira deal look at that we should be paying 50 mil for him and we're not we're paying half of it and that's down to Sven and the lads um, Raul and obviously uh, you know you've got to give them all credit because they're all doing an incredible job at the moment and they're moving sniper like fast and efficient um, complete stealth mode going on so I, I'm loving it completely pumped with everything that's going on back room uh, it's like Jen's having a swing yesterday and that was embarrassing for me um, glad to see the back of him I think he just will rub people up the wrong way and what's he done this last year I don't think he's done jack shit so happy to see him gone as well and all the others they've been yes men for Wenger for far too long 
and even if they are good coaches underneath that and they've just been doing things that they're told to do you've still allowed that to happen which is a proper beta mentality for me so yeah glad to see all that shit gone um, and these guys like I say I think with Emery in charge it's going to be this is what I expect this is what's happening and look pal there ain't no guarantees here if you're not pulling your weight there's the fucking door see you later and that's how it's going to be for me Sentiment FC out the window, cold FC in the door, and I for one am absolutely loving it. Come on you gooners and feel free to comment or send your own vids to me man and let's have it.